What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. It is official the Portland Trailblazers have traded CJ McCollum away to the New Orleans Pelicans so today of course we're doing a CJ McCollum New Orleans Pelicans rebuild. Now before we get into this video though guys I'm a very sad Portland Trailblazers fan right now I'm not gonna lie this is an end of an era of the backcourt of course and uh you know, the package isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, it is definitely better than the, Nor the Norman Powell trade for sure. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. But if you guys could leave a like in this video, and of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you've not already, help me out so much. Thank you for that. Uh, but let's talk about the trade and uh, what I think about it personally. All right, so let's talk about the full trade. Obviously, there's a lot going on here. Ignore this first one. I obviously had to kind of reverse the trade because there was more added on to this trade. So basically, this is the full trade. And I had to fix the draft pick because I actually just got announced on what the draft pick actually was. So uh, basically, this is what it is. Nikel Alexander-Walker, Thomas Sadoransky, Josh Hart, uh, Lau... I don't... not going to even pretend to know how to pronounce this guy's name. Lauzada, however you say it. A... Uh, 2022 Pelicans pick that's protected and then two future seconds for CJ McCollum, Tony Snell, and Larry Nance. So, um, you know what? Like I said, it's better than the Norm Powell trade, but I am a little disappointed by only getting one first. I'm not going to lie. I feel like, see, I mean, I guess CJ McCollum was seen as a negative asset around the league, so I guess that's fine. But at the same time, we gave up Larry Nance as well, who we traded a first round pick for, so it almost seems like, uh, I don't know, man. For me, this looks like Portland is shedding salary to build around Dame in the offseason. That's what it stands out to me, but I could be wrong. Who knows? I don't really know what the direction is so far, but I love getting the Alexander Walker, and I do love getting a first at least. At least we didn't just get second round picks. I mean, we got a first at the very least that's like protected five through 14 or something weird like that. So yeah, uh, that's what it is. Trailblazers walk away with uh, a young player and some draft picks and, uh, you know, the Pelicans walk away with CJ McCollum, Tony Snell, and Larry Nance. Three rotational pieces for, uh, you know, to help them out. So, I love it for the Pelicans. They uh, made a really good trade here. I think both sides kind of benefited in a way, but it is what it is. So, this is what the trade is uh, looks like now. So, you got Devontae Graham, CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, Larry Nance, Jonas Valanciunas, Jackson Hayes, Herbert Jones, Willie Hernan Gomez, and Dennis Smith, and then Tony Snell. Obviously, kind of rounds up the rotation. Actually, Dennis Smith uh, was not actually part of the trade. I had to throw him in here, so I apologize for that. Uh, so I'll just uh, throw Dennis Smith down here. That way he's not getting any minutes. Uh, I couldn't really trade, make the trade happen without throwing in another filler player. So that's why that is the way it is. So we'll go ahead and throw Trey Murphy in here. Uh, Tony Snell will throw Trey Murphy more minutes over Tony Snell. I don't think Larry Nance would start personally. So uh, who is uh, Herbert Jones? Is he the one that's been going off for New Orleans? Or is it the other guy, Trey Murphy? I can't remember. I think I'm going to throw Herbert Jones in over... Larry Nance, because that's what I think would probably happen. And of course, it doesn't really matter eventually, because eventually it's going to be Zion Williamson whenever he returns to health. Uh, whether that's this season or not, who knows? But Tim McCollum officially on the New Orleans Pelicans. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on the trade. Personally, I feel a little bit better about it than the Norman Powell trade, but I still feel like we should have gotten more. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we should feel good about this. Uh, but let's go into some with the rest of the season with Steve McCollum on the Pelicans and uh, we'll see how much of a difference it makes. And of course, next season, we'll have Zion Williamson back. So let's get it. So unfortunately, without Zion Williamson, we did not get into the play-in tournament, which sucks. I would have loved to have been the playoffs, of course, with getting CJ McCollum. But hey, we, we already know. As soon as I get Zion Williamson, this Pelicans team is going to go win a championship year after year after year. The Pelicans are super overpowered in uh, 2K. I'm, uh, you know, I'd love to see if CJ McCollum makes that different makes them even more overpowered i would assume it would um i think Steve mccallum is a great fit now i know some people may not love this for new orleans because they literally just had drew holiday not that long ago and drew holiday is a better player than cj at least uh you know all around but cj is a better shooter so i guess in a way he fits maybe a little bit better but whatever let me know what you guys think again like i said so we're on the playoffs so we can just go ahead and some way straight to the off season where we can try to make this team even potential wait the portland trailblazers made the playoffs with after all this Okay, they traded away CJ McCollum, and then Portland actually made the postseason. I mean, Dane probably played. I assume Nurkic is next on his way out as well. Uh, you know, getting Josh Hart's cool, but I do love the, the Nikel Alexander-Walker edition the most. So I'm probably going to keep waiting to do our Portland Trailblazers rebuild up unt uh, until we actually like trade Nurkic and everyone else, because I assume Nurkic will be traded as well. He's on a one-year contract. So if uh, Portland hangs on to him, I'd be a little confused, but who knows? So... All right, the Jazz beat the 76ers in four games. Let's get to the offseason where we're going to actually have Zion Williamson. So, um, unfortunately, we're not going to have... I think, like I said, this pick is like 5 through 14 protected for New Orleans. Um, I think, anyway. So, let's see. It ends up at number 9. So, we actually keep our first-round pick. 
and it should convey to Portland next year, I believe. I think. If I'm reading that correctly, let me make sure I'm reading Woj's tweet correctly, and then uh, we can make that happen in the draft. So we'll, I think we're going to be keeping our 2022 first round pick, which is a good thing, at least in this video. So uh, let me make sure I'm reading that correctly and we'll jump into the draft. Today's video is brought to you by Halftime. Think of any social media that you use, but it's only dedicated to us diehard sports fans. Let me show you how it works. When you open up the app, this is what it's going to look like. It's nothing but sports. That's all you're going to see. You can see news from any sport you want to look at. Just scroll through MLB, UFC, NCAA. And then you got scores. If you want to look at scores for today or the previous day to see what happened the previous day. Also have the ability to choose your favorite teams. Whatever teams you want to put on there, you can put as many as you want. You can also choose your favorite players to follow and post in those players. And I'll show you how that works in a second. So this is what the posts are going to look like. You can literally choose any club you want to post it to. You can choose it to a whole league. You can choose it to just a certain team. There's much, much more you can do with this app. But this is just a small sample size and a little bit of an example of what you could do here on Halftime. So like I said, Halftime is just a social media app that's literally just dedicated to sports. So nothing else. And there's also zero trolls halftime prides themselves on no trolls and no negativity on the app so if you're interested in that at all the link to download is in the description also the link to my profile if you want to follow it is on there as well i'll see you guys there on halftime so actually i was wrong the pick comes to portland if it lands between number five and 14 so i guess it's like top four i don't i don't know the protection is kind of weird but you get it we basically didn't get the first or it, it goes to portland if it lands five through 14 so uh, which is very possible for New Orleans. Uh, obviously, they're trying to play in them for the play-in tournament, but Portland could get that lottery pick if New Orleans does not get there. So, uh, but with getting Caesar McCollum, I think it'll help them get there. Obviously, but uh, we don't have our draft pick, so that kind of sucks. It is what it is. But we have a couple of seconds here, so let's go ahead and see what we can get here in the second round for this draft. So we are going to be grabbing. We got Kofi here. We got Trevor Keels. Uh, Johnny Jose. I mean, we really don't need to do too much this offseason. When Zion joins us again, this team is going to be overpowered. We know we know how it is in 2K. So I'm just going to draft a center here as well. And we'll call it good on that. So uh, we got uh, Trevor Keels and Coloco here in the second round. W for both those guys. Then qualifying offers, none. So all right, for free agency, let's see what we got going on in free agency. So we have no bird rights. So nobody who is an impending free agent. So if we take a look at the roster, Devontae Graham, Ky Kyra Lewis Jr., which is great. Uh, the fact that New Orleans didn't have to give up Devonta Graham is really cool as well for them. Honestly, as a Portland fan, I wouldn't have wanted him anyway. His contract is just long-term, so it makes sense why we didn't get him. Cedric McCollum, of course, is the shooting guard. And you got Brandon Ingram, and of course, you have Zion, Herbert Jones, Larry Nance, and Trey Murphy. So you have a lot going on here at the power forward position, and then a lot of center uh, centers here, obviously, still. So Jackson Hayes is great backup center, and Valentina is great starting center. So I guess the one thing I would like to do is maybe move one of these power forwards to small forward if I can. So if I moved like, let's say Herbert Jones, a small forward, he goes down. What about uh, not uh, Trey Murphy? He does not move. Okay. Um, Larry Nance, I actually kind of want to serve as the backup power forward. So I think I'm gonna move Herbert Jones, a small forward. And I know some people have been hammering me to do this. So I will do it real quick. I apologize. I will make sure his backup position is power forward. So I know people have been uh, hammering me to do secondary position. So my apologies. Okay. Well, let's go to moratorium day. So uh, we need to get another bench player. We need to use our mid-level to get... Um, I guess a backup guard, it looks like. We could rely on Trevor Keels, but I'd prefer not to. Uh, so I like what we have in the front court. So let's just get a backup guard in free agency. And of course, with Zion here, we're going to make the playoffs no matter what. Usually that's how it works here in 2K anyway, but we'll see what happens. So uh, Gary Payton, I'm already liking the most uh, here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign Gary Payton to be our backup shooting guard for the future. And uh, Gary Payton, welcome to New Orleans, my friend. That just kind of completes our rotation even further. So let's go to player progression, kind of see how this is going to treat us. I assume McCollum might go down in overall. He did, and Valentinus went down as well. But Zion and Brandon Ingram are going up, which is good. And no one else is going down. So the two veterans went down, but everyone else is on the up and up. So here we go. We're going into season number two. This time fully healthy, fully strong. Our strength is full. And here we go. We're going to have Zion Williamson on the team full season. I'm excited to see how this is going to go. Obviously, we all know how it usually goes for, uh, in 2K here. So... Devonta Graham, CJ McCollum, Ingram, Zion, Valentinez, Gary Payton, Jackson Hayes, Larry Nance, Herbert Jones, and William Hernan Gomez. I'm personally just going to run a nine-man rotation. And then we're going to look at our proficiency real quick. It is a four-star balance. So we're probably going to move uh, Willie Green's system preferred to balanced. And then we're going to go ahead and celebrate the rest of the season. So I assume this team is going to be a very, very good playoff team. It is 2K. Uh obviously so let's go ahead and see what happens so in this simulation we actually lost like our first 10 games or so i was like oh no 
2K might have actually broke the Pelicans. And no, we just kind of, you know, came back and uh, got the first seed. So New Orleans ends up being the first seed power ranking number one, of course, as well. But like I said, I honestly thought Siege McCollum might have broke the Pelicans in 2K. But no, that wasn't the case at all. Luka Doncic wins MVP. Chet Holmgren wins Rookie of the Year on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Karis averts your sixth man. Isaac is the defensive player. And James Wiseman most approved. And Willie Green coach of the year. As we went 60 and 22. Are we surprised? No, we're not. All NBA first team. Luka, Kyrie, Tatum. LeBron James, Nikola Jokic, all NBA second team. We had DeJounte, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Giannis, and Embiid. Here's your all NBA third team. So no Zion Williamson, it looks like, surprisingly. Here's all defense first team and all defensive second team. And then all rookie, if we had any rookies playing, I don't think we did. All right. So first seed in the West for us. Let's go ahead and take a look at our player stats this season. We had 25 from Zion Williamson, 23 from Ingram, and only 18 from CJ McCollum. So honestly, this might be a good thing for CJ because... Low-key, CJ McCollum becomes like the third option. Obviously, he's always been the number two guy. And uh, it worked out for the most part. I mean, the Blazers got to the West Conference Finals just to get swept by the Warriors. But, you know, they got... They, they did all right. They did all right. It, it never led to a championship. But now CJ McCollum becomes a third option in New Orleans behind Ingram and Zion, you'd like to think. So I think this is a W for CJ McCollum, low-key. I really do. So let's go ahead and see, though, if uh, we can get some playoff success here. I mean, I'm the New Orleans Pelicans, so... This is the most confident I've felt in a rebuild in quite some time. So we're playing the Nuggets who have their fully healthy roster. Jamal Murray, Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, Jokic, Monte Morris, Will Barton. We all know what the Nuggets look like. Can we beat them though is the question. So my current round and we lost game one, but then we ended up uh, winning the rest of the four. So W beat the Nuggets in five games. So now we get to play the Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges, Jay Crowder, DeAndre Aiden, Paulo. The Suns ended up getting the good of a draft pick that they got paulo okay i, I see you um tyus jones jalen smith cameron johnson so i'm a little nervous about this one since they have paulo so my current round against phoenix and we are going to sweep them still so i don't know why i was nervous on the pelicans we're playing the minnesota timberwolves now which actually minnesota low-key sometimes gets really good in the simulation as well so this could be a tough series for us deandre russell jalen noel anthony edwards jared vanderbilt towns malik beasley Nas Reed and patrick beverly and then jd mcdaniels and marjan butchamp all right game one uh they win uh game one uh we even it up can we win the rest of the four games oh, we're up three to one and yeah we beat them we beat them in five no surprise there now we get to play the pelicans who ended up with bradley beal so that's a w starting five with kevon loney off the bench you still have marcus smart as well chris dunn peyton pritchard and robin lopez i assume bradley beal somehow signed for one year 28 million dollars one year so how do the Celtics even afford that? I'm so confused on how they're even able to afford that. Whatever, man. I don't know, man. It always seems like Bradley Beal is, ends up on Boston. But game one, we're down 1-0. to zero. So Boston has themselves a really good roster, but so do we. So uh, we're down 2-0, to zero, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe we're not as overpowered as we thought. Uh-oh. Are we coming back in this? No, we lost in the six. Okay. So we didn't win a championship right away, which I'm a little surprised by. But we did get to the NBA Finals, so uh Celtics beat us in six games now it is time for us to try to make the roster even better if possible so well, let's go to the draft lottery and uh let's see what's happening here so the trailblazers are in the lottery this year and they have, end up with pick number 10. I'm excited to do a blazer rebuild once this trade deadline is over man like I said Portland I mean it was time to do an overhaul it was definitely time to start trading some players away so I'm not upset with Portland's direction at all it didn't work out this year we tried it it didn't work out so I'm excited that this team is finally looking at themselves in the mirror and saying, hey, man, we need to do something different. So I'm happy that's finally happening. Uh, happening. Uh, New O'Shea is probably punching the air right now watching CJ McCollum get traded, but whatever. So let's go get, I guess we can't get anybody else. We're full now. So let's go to the draft and let's go ahead and see what we can get here on draft night. Why didn't you guys tell me we had the fifth pick in the draft? I wasn't even paying attention. What? I mean, I should have, I was like, what? Wait, we got pick number five. I was literally not even paying attention to the draft lottery, noticing that we got the fifth pick in the draft. you got to be kidding me. That is huge. All right, Los Angeles, thank you so much for your compensation. Obviously, from the Anthony Davis trade. Let's go, baby. I did. I was not even paying attention, man. Amari Bailey, Derek Whitehead, Shaden Sharp. Uh, we can honestly walk away with any of these guys and feel really good, but I think getting a backup guard would be kind of the move here. Hunter Salas as well. Uh, but I'm going to go for Shaden Sharp, I think, here with my fifth overall selection. That's going to give us a backup guard instead of Gary Payton. So Shaden Sharp is a 78 overall W. And then uh, what was uh, Amari Bailey was 77. So it looks like we made the right decision by getting Shaden Sharp here with our fifth pick. So he becomes the backup guard. Um, and maybe he could even you know, potentially take over. CJ McCollum could probably run point guard if you need him to. So then you can have Devontae Graham be the sixth man and throw Shaden Sharp in there eventually if you wanted to. But Zion and Jackson Hayes are restricted free agents. So I want both of them back, obviously. 
um zion in real life though when he enters restricted free agency is going to be interesting because we don't know what his health is going to be like but in 2k we're obviously 100,000 percent resigning him there's no way i'm letting him walk so uh that's out of the question is uh valentina is a free agent as well i gotta make sure he no yeah he is okay so we got to get zion back as well herbert jones brandon ingram uh, we got Shaden Sharp and Gary Payton, and then obviously Kyra Lewis. I totally forgot about Kyra Lewis as well, being a backup point guard potentially. So, all right, um, let's uh, go get Valanciunas back 100%. Unless we can get a different center, which I highly doubt it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can get Jackson Hayes and rely on him, but I want Valanciunas back to kind of, you know, keep the roster intact. So we'll we'll sign Valanciunas, and then obviously we'll uh, wait. And then we get uh, a match contract on Zion Williamson. Obviously not going to let him walk for nothing. That'd be stupid. So we get Zion back. And then uh, Jackson Hayes, I'm just going to go ahead and offer a uh, contract too because I just want him back. So Jackson Hayes, welcome back. And then now with Larry Nance gone, we could potentially move, uh, who was it? Herbert Jones back to his natural position if we wanted to. If we wanted to do that anyway, we don't have to. Um, he stays the same. So actually, we'll just leave him at small forward, I guess. All right. What else we got now? So we got Devonta Graham, Kyra Lewis. We got Shaden Sharp, CJ McCollum still. Brandon Ingram, Herbert Jones. Trey Murphy, Zion Williamson, and then, of course, everyone is back. So, I mean, looking at it, we basically added another really good player in Shaden Sharp. But, hey, we also could potentially make this team even better if we really wanted to do that. I don't think we need to. It wouldn't be necessary, but if we wanted to, we could potentially add another point guard here. We have Devontae Graham's contract. We have a lottery player. We have the picks to do it. So, I think it would be fun if we could maybe try to get something happening. So I'm already thinking of a guy immediately that just, uh, you know, would be awesome to bring in here. And uh, he's on the San Antonio Spurs. I'm looking at DeJounte Murray, uh, which he's an all-star this year. But hey, maybe he would become available when he has one year left on his contract. Maybe the Spurs would be open to trading him away. I'm going to try to make it happen. His trade value is kind of crazy, though. So this might be tougher than I thought. So Devontae Graham's two-year contract. And then we could throw, I guess we have a lot of lot of, uh, young players. So we have Kyra Lewis we could throw in here. We also have like uh we could throw trey murphy uh and then let's say a couple picks in here 2024 unprotected lakers pick that might just be enough to get the johnson murray loki and they don't agree okay so 2024 lakers pick and then we'll throw you 2027 as well they still do not agree to this okay this might be a little bit harder than i thought and then we'll throw you trevor keels they can't afford it okay so let's actually just throw one more draft pick in here this might be a little bit of an overpay but, oh, wow. DeJounte Murray, is that impossible to get? I did not expect him to be that tough to get. Uh, Graham's contract is here. Kyle Lewis and then Trey Murphy. Maybe we remove Trey Murphy and we throw in... Maybe... I, I feel like, obviously, Trevor Keels. We get rid of maybe this pick and we throw in uh, Coloco or something. All this for DeJounte Murray. They agree. We got DeJounte Murray to be our brand new point guard. So, we're already just making this Pelicans team more overpowered than it already is so i'm feeling really good about that we're going to this next season with the john T. murray at the point guard now next to cj ingram zion and valentunas the pelicans have the assets to do it so why the hell not why not do it so player progression gonna treat us a little bit uh unfairly mccollum's down to an 80 overall I, I it sucks to see him go down that much i don't know if mccollum's career would tank that much at 31 years old i feel like he would still be pretty solid so I think it's a good thing we got, uh, got DeJounte Murray here. Uh, he was on a very cheap contract as well. So it's very gettable uh, for the Pelicans to potentially be in that race if DeJounte Murray were to become available. I know this season, it obviously doesn't seem like uh, seem likely, but just remember we're three seasons down the line now. Uh, so that's why I did the DeJounte Murray trade. We don't know what the future holds. So let's go ahead and celebrate this next season with DeJounte Murray at the point guard position now. So DeJounte, CJ McCollum still. Brandon Ingram, Zion Valanciunas, Jackson Hayes, Gary Payton, Shannon Sharp, and Herbert Jones. So I'm really hoping this season obviously ends in a championship for us. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Proficiency is four stars still. Let's simulate season number three, and let's see if we can win it all. So Zion Williamson wins MVP this season. Victor wins Rookie of the Year on the New York Knicks. Sabonis six man, and I think we won 70 games. Did we win seven? No, we won six. Four. Okay, never mind. I thought we were about to win 70 games. Honestly, for like the first 20 games, we were undefeated. I'm like, dude, there's no way I'm about to go 82 and 0, right? Like, there's no way. Uh, but if you're doing an 82-0 challenge, I feel like the Pelicans is the team to choose because obviously they're just overpowered. So Zion Williamson, of course, on your All-NBA first team. I do want to look at how the stats look this season with uh, CJ McCollum going down and overall, of course, then the John T. Murray coming in. So CJ averaged 14. So honestly, becomes kind of the fourth option if you think about it now. Murray, 16 points, 22, 31. Jackson Hayes with 11. Shane Sharp with 11. And then 10 from Balanchunas. I really think we're unstoppable here. Hopefully, we win a championship this year. 
Uh, it would be funny, though, if I took over the Pelicans. We've seen them win so many championships while I've rebuilt teams. And then when I take them over, we don't win anything. But we are playing a very interesting Phoenix Suns team who had Paulo at power forward. So I might curve around against Phoenix. And uh, if we can sweep them, I feel like we're going to be able to beat anybody. Minnesota gave us a little bit of a run last year, but it lost D'Angelo Russell, it looks like. Uh, so that's interesting. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat the uh, Timberwolves. And uh, we're up three to two. Can we beat them in six? No, we're going to a game seven with the Timberwolves. Okay. Um, I really would not like to lose in this, uh, the second round here. So uh, 2K, please, uh, please, 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 please let me win a championship today. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, man. Are we really not going to win with the Pelicans? It is literally my luck that I take over the Pelicans and we don't win. It is my luck. That happens. I'm serious. This game actually hates me. 140 to 108. So all the times that I rebuild the Pelican or I rebuild other teams and I try to win championships, but when I play the Pelicans, I'm losing. It does not matter who I am. I am losing. But as soon as I take over the Pelicans, I lose in the second round. Toronto Raptors go on to win the championship. I'm done, man. I, I can't do it anymore. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Regardless, man, CJ McCollum to the Pelicans is a W for New Orleans, I think. I like it personally. I know some people may not. I like the return we got as a Portland Blazers fan for the most part. Maybe wish we would have gotten a little bit more draft compensation. I do like Nikel Alexander Walker coming in though. So that's a W. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know you guys' thoughts on the overall trade. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.